So I'm trying to make some B-roll right now. So uh, what I would do in this case is because it's so shaky, let's see. You could see like there's like some shake and stuff in the video. Uh, let's kind of do that. I'm gonna delete that part and then add like a half a second fade. So half a second. All right. So to make it less shaky, you can hit Control and then right here. So what this is doing is it is slowing down the video. Um, but the thing is that you don't want to slow down the video too much where then it starts to look really unnatural. But you can slow it down to the point where it still looks natural but then there's going to be less shake. So that looks a lot better but if you do it too much it's going to look like this. So let's try it very over exaggerated slow down. You can see it's kind of looking like really choppy. So you don't want your footage to look very choppy and like you got to find like the right medium. Um, also some other ways is that so Sony Vegas 18 and they have like their own video effects which is like called stabilize. So we can try that. So let's put this kind of like around. All right, put it back to normal speed, normal speed, and then stabilize. So we're gonna go to the FX, so we're just gonna click right here, this icon right here, which is the FX, and then we're gonna go look for stabilize. All right, so we're gonna go to stabilize. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I'm so blind. So it's like kind of near the end. It's called video stabilization. So you're gonna hit okay to that. And then um, you can put basic, professional, expert level. So maybe you could put it to professional where it's gonna be doing um, accurate or you can set it to fast. So we're just gonna try like these basic uh, professional accurate translation plus rotation plus scale. So Let's give it a go. So now you gotta let it, so it's gonna be like rendering. So just give it a moment to like render. <clears throat> All right, let's go take a look at the two videos. One video is unstabilized. Second video is stabilized using the video FX effect. So let's give it a go and then see which one looks better. Obviously the second video was way more stabilized, but you can kind of see like It looks very like kind of watery. I don't know if it's just like my computer, but maybe after you render it Maybe it looks better. Oh Oh, okay. I think it was just a quality it was in so once I put it to preview half it looks amazing so Let's let's give it a go again See, look how like smooth that looks. So it pretty much like, it like removes all the shake. It's kind of like you're recording with like a gimbal. So, and you, it's, it's so amazing like how much like you can do in post. Like I want to say like Sony Vegas, like 18 is like really good at, um, doing like digital stabilization without like kind of reducing the quality of the video. So um, I hope you utilize that because it is really amazing. Um, I want to say like when I first started using it in Vegas 15, it was not that great. It did an okay job, but I want to say comparing like 15, when you go to 15 to 16, you don't see a big jump, but I want to say 17 to 18, you see a big jump in how they do like the video stabilization. So uh, kudos to uh, Vegas on doing a good job on the video stabilization. Um, there's one thing to note is that one thing you could kind of tell, but you have to be really looking for it is that you can see that it zooms in. So 
like clicking in the middle of this track and middle of this track you're it's cropping the video in and that's how it's able to um, reduce the handheld shake um, that's definitely a lot of fun to play with for me personally I'm probably just gonna leave it at basic or professional at least for the type of videos that I shoot so uh, I just want to share that before moving on but uh, I felt like I went really into that part um, and uh, please make sure when you're uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, so far make sure to like comment below on any video suggestions and then uh, make sure you subscribe for future videos let's take a look at the end product boom All right, and that's pretty much how you add some basic text effects. If you want me to get more in depth in some crazy text effects, I can get into that. Um, if you want me to make a part two, depending on how well this video does, I'll make a part two or like a follow up or something like that. But you know, as always, uh, let me know if this video was helpful at all. I definitely enjoyed uh, making this video, so. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. And